Good morning traders, 26th of September 2016. I hope you had a good weekend. I've got a bit of a frog in my throat today, so apologies about that. I've got a new feature which has been requested by some of the V4 customers, and it's a stop loss facility for synthetic trades. So at the moment, I'm just using Euro Yen and uh, Sterling Yen which is going to give us a synthetic pair of Euro Sterling and so the system has worked that out for us automatically and in this new cut of the system if you trade the synthetic pair it's now coming up with a synthetic stop loss in points and I can change that stop loss as you can see here I'm just scrolling up and that's been rippled through into the interface so let's put 25 pips or points on there and so what will happen is when we, at the moment you can see here the trend is rising on M5, M15, all the, all the time frames apart from H, H1. And so what I've done is used the, I'm trading off M1 and I've set M5, M15 and M30 for our trend filters. So three next higher time frames. And I've set the reversion target to the opposite band down here, as you can see. And that's giving us a reversion potential of five dollars or so, but the channel value is six dollars forty-six. So actually, in actual fact, if we got an entry, we're looking for an entry off the lower the lower band because the trend is rising. The, the spread is not inverted, so that would basically be giving us a long euro sterling trade. And if you think about that, that makes sense because if you actually look at the euro sterling chart. you see that pretty much on all these time frames it's rising. So you've got a rising trend across the board pretty much. So you want to stay on the right side of that trend. So going along Euro Sterling is the way to go. So the system is basically keeping you on the right side of that trend. Um, what I'm waiting for really is I want this spread here to touch this lower trigger channel and give us a trade. And then what I want to try and do is show you how this 25 pip stop loss gets implemented into the system. Um, so I'm just going to uh, pause this video and wait for that to happen. And then I'm going to show you the, the open trade with the stop loss actually attached. Okay, folks, um, this is kind of what I was anticipating was going to happen. We're right on the verge of trade. You can just see that trade's been executed there. I've just changed the STD multiple um, and brought that in a bit to basically trigger a trade a little bit early. And you can see here what's happening in the Euro Sterling spread, um, real time price action is we've had a new high being made for the day and now we're just having a bit of a, a consolidation period and price has come back down, a little bit of a sell off here. And the idea behind um, the system in a trend following environment is to try and pick up these, these uh, opportunities to purchase a dip in a rally. And that's exactly what's happened here. The real um, aim of this video is not so much to show um, the principles behind the system, but in this case to show how we're using a synthetic stop loss. And so if you now look at this trade here, so we've gone long Euro Sterling at uh, 0.86819 with a stop loss of 0.86569 um, which will, should equate to, if we look at our interface we know, well we don't need to look at our interface, we just look at the synthetic stop loss down here, 25 um, pips just have a quick look on your calculator just to check, so we're long, so if we take 0.86819 our entry price 86819, subtract the stop loss 0 0.86569, 25 pips. So that's the new stop loss functionality embedded within uh, the system for cases where there is a synthetic pair to trade. So there you go, um, that's, that should help you control your risk a bit better. Um, one thing to mention though, uh, if you can also use max risk up here. There's a max risk parameter as well, which is obviously a percentage of the account equity. So you don't need to necessarily set, set um, the synthetic stop loss, but for peace of mind, 
uh, and also to give you a bit more, you know, a bit more control. Um, I've implemented that uh, on, based upon the request of existing customers. Uh, so there you go. Um, that's uh, another feature um, which will be live very shortly in the license management area. Thanks for watching. And just to finish off that video, guys. So you saw the the long entry there and the system exited on the upper trigger level because we had a reversion target set at the opposite band so effectively you see here the system exploited this retest or this sell off in this little uptrend and then exited when price rebounded. I used quite a small STD multiple here um, I'm talking to current existing customers about creating a split um, system or, or, or kind of like an STD multiple booster so that you can actually use a lower STD, STD multiple for your entry and a slightly higher multiple for your exit thus um, pushing out or pulling out more profit from these potential moves so that, again that's going to be something which is going to be implemented pretty soon so there you go just a quick update